Welcome back to JB Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at a 2020 Ram 3500 Dually with the Night Edition package. Let's get started. Special thanks to Criswell here in Thermont, Maryland. These guys gave me a chance to take a look at some of the trucks. If you haven't had a chance yet, they just built a brand new showroom. It looks amazing. Be sure to check these guys out and be sure to ask for Annette Pater, who's the uh, general sales manager for the store. I must say, Del Monocle Red, Dually with Night Edition. Mwah! masterpiece right here guys now this truck does have a lot of options on it so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a look at the window sticker so you have a better idea of how much it costs and the features on the truck as mentioned earlier this is going to be a 2020 ram 3500 laramie crew cab for about four long bed now base price for this truck without the dual rear wheels will be fifty three thousand nine hundred dollars now taking a look at the color del monocle red black interior now this is going to have the high output engine and it is going to be optional same thing goes for the eyes and transmission it's going to be optional with or it's going to come standard with the high output so just keep that in mind now this is going to be a short listing of your standard equipment one thing i like to point out is the 373 axle is going to be standard for this truck because the truck has a lot of options we're going to go through this pretty quickly so feel free to pause if you like to but if you do want that del monocle red it's going to cost you 100 bucks Leather trim bucket seats, 545, towing technology group, and basically it's going to give you that center stop lamp with the cargo view. It's also going to give you the uh, surround view camera system and the trailer reverse guidance also. Now, one thing I would like to point out too is it does have the protection group, which I strongly recommend. Night edition is going to be $24.95. Now, I did jump over. This does have the fifth wheel and gooseneck prep package, $24.95. Now, Laramie Level 2 is going to set you back $4,195, and that's everything that's going to be included in that package there. Stepping down to the uh, front and rear rubber floor mats, $150. High output is going to be the most expensive option on this truck at $11,995. Now, you guys do see that this does have a 50-gallon fuel tank. It shows it's $295. I thought this was going to come standard for all long bed trucks, but it's showing that it is an option for the truck as opposed to standard equipment. LED bed lighting, 50 gallon fuel tank. Now this does have the dual rear wheel option, so $14.95 plus $53,900 is what I would always include if you're looking for just a dually truck for the base price. Trailer camera wiring, $6.95. Spray and bed liner, $5.65. Destination at $16.95 and you have a total price of $81,215. All right, guys, so we're going to take this thing for a quick drive. And you know what? Let's just do a fuel economy run, too. Why not? Mine as well, right? So I'm at the stop sign. And we're going to take it for a quick ride on a town road, and then we're going to get on the highway. Now, in the comment section, what do you guys think about this setup? I really think the night edition on a dually is the way to go like if you need to tow a big trailer you can do it in style i mean this truck looks so amazing let's take a better look at these wheels when i first saw the machine look on the, like around the holes i didn't think i was gonna like it but now that i've seen it in person i really do like the overall look i'm glad i didn't just make it all black it does add some contrast to the wheels and i think it does really dress up the truck nicely now these are gonna be 235 80s up front and then here's just a better look at the wheels now these are gonna be 235 80s and of course you're gonna have dual rear wheels but I really do like the way this really looks here I mean this is just nice now I got to show you guys I have been wanting to do a video on this I love the fact that Ram does a different suspension for the high output and for the standard Cummins and you also do have an option to get air suspension on this truck too which makes this leaf spring system look different too so the only difference from the standard Cummins is you see that leaf at the bottom here that's the only difference now if you get the air suspension you do not get that lower leaf here now one thing I want to mention too is you do have a camera on the grill here up front and you also have a camera on the driver's side mirror and you also have one on the passenger side mirror too now that's just going to help you with when you're towing a trailer or if you're just backing this truck up into a parking space i mean these things it has a 360 view camera so it's going to help you maneuver this big old truck around because this is a big boy truck i mean it is long with the long bed 
and I mean it's just a very awkward truck to drive if you're not really towing a trailer now whether you opt for the night edition package on the Laramie or you just get a regular Laramie without this appearance package you will get standard LED lights the only difference between this and a standard Laramie is you're not gonna have the blacked out appearance on the headlights these are gonna be full LED headlights with daytime running lights you do have incandescent turn signals but your fog lights will be LED also and as you can see on the bottom you have your parking sensors and your tow hooks when you drive these newer diesel trucks especially it being a dually it's not like how it used to be it used to be when you drove these trucks they were very rough very uncomfortable to drive that's just not the case anymore with these trucks you can drive this you know on a normal basis now the road I'm on is pretty smooth but even with that being said I mean this truck is just so effortless too I mean I don't feel like I'm driving a a big dually truck I'm gonna do a video I don't know when I'm gonna post it but I got some footage of an older truck and I'm gonna kind of just ask that question you know are the older trucks better than the new ones or vice versa which ones are better and I had a chance to drive an older diesel truck and I was actually surprised you know like all my findings but what I will tell you is this if you're in the market for a new truck I know that the DPF sucks the uh, the DEF sucks. It all sucks. All this EGR crap. I mean, it sucks. I hate it. But these trucks are definitely worth the look if you do tow heavy. I mean, 14,000 pounds plus. I mean, these trucks will do the job and they will make you like never regret getting a, a newer diesel. Same thing goes for the rear. You're going to have the blacked out emblems and the taillights are darkened and it has a black. Uh, piece which is basically your sensor for your blind spot monitoring it's going to just look a little bit different from the standard Laramie 2 but if you do have the key you can drop that tailgate out back by hitting the button twice and as you saw on the window sticker you do have the fifth wheel and gooseneck prep package too now these are going to be upgraded uh, let me get hop up here for a second now this 12 pin connector is a SAEJ 3008 connector it is a new standard for video and other sensors um, so as you guys can see if you do have the camera system that's what you're gonna plug it into here it used to be just on the lower uh, connectors for standard towing but like I said they do have it here also now and this is just your regular seven pin connector here since we're hanging out in the bed you guys can see that you have a button for your LED lights and your high mount cameras up top here with LEDs also spray and bed liner and there's just a better look at your puck system too one thing I've noted on Ram is their tailgates are very easy to put up the only thing I would like to see from them is maybe to put this plastic piece or put something here that way when you push up you don't have to put your hand on the paint because you can of course scratch it now this is just the other seven pin I was talking about right down here this one was the only one that was on the 2019s, but for 2020, it looks like they put one here also. Class five receiving hitch, parking sensor just below. And then here's just a better look at the beast. That is just, that is a beautiful truck in red. If you have a toy hauler that has red graphics on it, you should definitely buy this truck because it will look so sick. And just one more camera angle for you too. All right guys, so I'm on the highway. And again, this, this truck is so comfortable. I'm sitting at 65 miles an hour. I'm averaging 11.5. Um, this is not a real Philly economy run. I really just wanted to see what kind of miles I can get on the city and then on the highway. But this is only gonna be like probably five miles. I'm not gonna lie to you. But overall, like I said, you know what? Here's what I'll do. I'll go down a little bit further. I have a tag. I'll, I'll try to make this about a 10 mile run. I know with these short ones, if you're new to my channel, if you are at a consistent speed and you don't do like a lot of idling, the computer is actually pretty accurate. Now sometimes it'll actually be lower than what the pump says. So sometimes you can get better than what this says too. So it just depends on your driving. If you're not towing um, up a lot of grades, it does actually show that you're getting like maybe one mile per gallon better while you're towing. So that's pretty cool. But if you're in a lot of grades, it's pretty accurate. I think I was off by like 0 
maybe, which is accurate. So let me go ahead and I'm just gonna keep going down the road here. And like I said, I'll give us a good run because we're on the highway at 65 miles an hour. And let's just see what the instant, the instant is saying, or the current as it's called, is saying like anywhere between 16 and 17 MPG. So if you're on a trip not towing, you could probably get about that. Um, 15 is what I've, I think I've clocked in the past on these trucks, but that's still good for this truck. Now this truck does have a 373, I forgot about that. So that it, this should get better than that uh, Mega Cab Dually I did a long time ago. Now taking a look inside the interior, not much has changed here. This is a pretty much a normal black appearance you've seen on the black interiors, but stepping inside, you do note that you do not have any running boards. For me, I have long legs, so it's not hard for me to get inside this truck. I wouldn't necessarily need running boards, but for people who may be a little bit shorter than me, that might be an issue. You can get the power running boards as an option on this truck too, so just keep that in mind. But taking a look at the interior, I mean, there's just a lot to be said about this interior. I love the way it looks. Now, one thing I do note that is different is this. This used to be a gold color on the 2019, so it looks like they changed it a little bit just to kind of flow better inside the interior. Now, this doesn't have the 12-inch display, but you can get that. The good news is you can still get the camera system with a smaller screen. And it doesn't really matter how big the screen is either because, quite honestly, I feel as though it still splits it up when you use a camera system. And all you have to do, you can hit the cargo button here. Oh, let me close the door. And this gives you different camera views that you can choose from. Now, one thing I will say too, is the surround view camera here is the 360 camera I was telling you about. Now the parking sensors do work with the dually so if that part of the dually um, fender flare does come close or come close to contacting something it will let you know. Now hitting the controls button again I'm going to take you guys back to the backup camera. Now as you see you do have a button now for two auxiliary cameras. Now, on my truck, I was a little angry about this, but I never really voiced my opinion on it, but this was supposed to be on the 2019s, but it did not show up that way. I don't know if they were waiting on those connectors or what, but like I said, now if you get a 2020, you have that option. And then this is just more camera views here for backing up your trailer. This does come in handy. I will say I've used this a couple times, but for me, I mean, I've, I've been towing now for a while, so I don't really have to. Now, navigation is an option on the Laramie so just keep that in mind you know you don't necessarily need it because you do have Apple CarPlay in this truck so you can use your Google Maps or your Waze one thing I like about the 8.4 better than the 12 is you do get your heated seats and cool seats outside of the screen if you do have the 12 inch you have to go through to turn these on and off this truck does have push button start and I will say push button start is standard on all Ram heavy duty trucks too so even if you get a tradesman you can get push button start steering wheel does have buttons behind the steering wheel also and you can turn the volume up or down or you can change the station or mute the uh, the music that you're listening to you do have controls for your screen which I'll go over with you in a second cruise control and you can select the gears that you want whether you're towing or for me I'll select third or fourth gear to lock it in that way I don't have to worry about the transmission shifting so much because the eyes and transmission does get kind of busy when you're when you're just driving normally. Now taking a look up here, this is going to be your your I believe this is a seven inch display. Now if you do have your dually, it does give you tire pressure for each tire. Same thing goes for the front. Now we're going to scoot over to the right using this button here. It's going to show you pretty much your coolant transmission temperature oil pressure boost pressure my least favorite gauge which is a diesel particulate filter dpf and oil life fuel filter life battery voltage exhaust brake and it's going to show you pretty much a gauge summary and the idle time for the truck too so looking around this interior you can see the stitching you can see that everything comes in black this truck did have a sunroof, which is an option, and you can pretty much control that right here. You can drop the, the tailgate from inside the truck. And there's just so many things I like about this truck. I mean, this truck has LED interior lights, so much storage, 
one of the best interiors ever. I think that it's, it's safe to say now that this interior is probably beating out luxury cars at this point. It's just really that good. And this is not even the top of the line. I mean, this is nice and it's not even the best. Now you do have a large center console. I'm gonna open the top here that we can kind of see the back. And you can put this up too to kind of divide everything out too. Now it does give you a max fill line down here too. So that way you don't put things too high up because if you do, this is gonna hit it. So that's pretty cool they give that to you. Storage right here with coin holders, cup holders right here. And then you have an additional storage up front and they give you a power outlet charging station which is optional too and then you have a place for maybe to put your wallet or maybe you put your phone you have four different usbs type a and type c's and then you have more additional buttons down here for towing and for your parking sensors taking a look out back they do not skimp on this interior even back here you do not have to worry about sharing the usbs up front they give you four more back here and they give you heated seats and another plug they also have climate control back here with seat back pockets and storage galore. Now granted, the Mega Cab does have more storage, but they do spoil you with these little bins here that can come out. Like so, you just got to pull up on it. And it makes it easy just to clean these out. I've, I've seen people where they'll put ice in here and put drinks in here. So that's just an idea for someone that might want to buy this truck. Now these seats do come up. They also give you lights here, which comes in nice at night. If you put them up, you have a 60-40 bench and they do give you these trays that you can set down and put down. If you have a, a big dog, that, this will really come in handy for something like that because it gives it a flat floor surface. Or if you need to carry something like groceries, you can put two kids over on this side and have this down and have it for just basically just using it for groceries and stuff like that. And you can still put the seat down too. Almost forgot to mention you have two cup holders here also. I was getting ready to say something good about the Eisen transmission and then it did that jerk shift thing that it does. But this one is definitely smoother than mine. So I will go get my truck in for service. I've had it for a year now. So I'm probably gonna take it in and get everything fixed on it. Um, I, I, I like to drive it for a year and just you know, let everything happen at once. There's a lot, I think I have like two recalls on my truck too that I have to get taken care of too. It's the pedal or the um, the step, the bed step, and I believe something else I forgot. But um, yeah, like I said, overall my truck has been good. I'm gonna do a one year um, video for that also, so stay tuned for that too. But we're gonna go ahead and turn around. We're averaging about 13 MPG. And I mean, I'm doing some climbing. I have the AC on. Um, I've driven almost for, almost for 10 minutes now. I've gone eight miles. I'm just gonna turn around. And then, like I said, I'll head back the other way. And once I get to 10 miles, I'm going to stop. So, actually, let me get a little down. But yeah, I'll, I'll stop at 10, and then I'll show you guys, like, a, a quick acceleration, too. All right, guys, so that's 10 miles. That's with climbing grades. That's not bad. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you guys a 0 to 60 right now. It's not too bad for a inline six that's not broken in yet and that's with a 373 axle too taking a look at the numbers you do have a gross axle front rating of 6,000 pounds the rear is gonna be 9,750 pounds and you have a 14,000 pound gross fuel weight rating with a 14,000 pound GVWR and all the options and features this truck has you do have a 5,227 pound payload capacity. All right guys, so just really quickly, I wanted to show you the tow numbers for this truck. This is gonna be for 2020 3500 crew cab eight foot bed. I did put the high output Cummins in here and this is gonna be for four wheel drive trucks also. So what I'm gonna do is to scroll down here. Now this is gonna be for the single rear wheel trucks, obviously because they only come with a 373 with the Cummins. But right here, this is gonna be for the high output 373. This is gonna be your posted payload number. And with the 373, as you guys can see, 
and it's really big tote number. Now, obviously, if you step up to the 410, it goes up just slightly, but you don't really need that 410. I mean, obviously, the 410 is going to tow better than the 373, but the 370 is going to get better fuel mileage. So, if you're not towing a trailer often, I would say this is the way to go because you're not really gaining that much towing capacity. Now, let me just show you one last thing. Now, this is going to be for the standard Cummins. I still believe that if you are looking, you know, at trailers, I mean, most people are not really towing that much. And you are, as you guys saw, you are going to pick up on your payload capacity because of the fact that the Eisen weighs a lot more than the 68 RFE. But that's still really good numbers. If you're looking to tow a 15, 16,000 pound trailer, by all means, or even if you're looking to tow an 18,000 pound toy hauler, I mean, you are definitely in the money. I mean, this is the kind of numbers you want for that. And this truck definitely does deliver. And I wanted to say one last thing now, the 373 is probably gonna get maybe 16 to 17 MPG. Um, I have driven trucks in the past. I've driven these trucks a lot. Every chance I get, if a dealer lets me, I'll take them on the road and just take them for a quick drive. And I have been able to get 16 mpg on like a 12 to 13 mile run on the highway with the 373 gears the 410 i think the best i got was like 15 or 16 mpg but overall like i said just wanted to kind of make it clear that the 13 that i got that was climbing a lot and if i were to drive for like an hour long it would have eventually got up to 16 mpg so i just had to straighten out the truck here i have to back it back into a space on the side of two other dually rams and I will tell you guys, this is how you get good at driving trucks like this. I mean, let me show you guys the sensor for the dual fender flares. If you see that little line here on the side, there's one on each side. If you do start to come close to something, that will start to light up for you so you can see if you're gonna hit something on that fender flare for the dually. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Sorry I've been out of pocket for some time doing my auto reviews. I am going to start back getting in some more of these. I'm going to have to do some more videos for my trucks. I have a new Ram truck I have not shown you yet. And now that we're home, I'm going to do that too really soon. But thank you guys again for supporting the channel. And I will see you guys real soon. And you guys know before I end the video, I have to show you with the mirrors up. Thank you guys for watching.